Welcome to the 2012 series of Complete Cricket Masterclasses. The focus for this year's courses is 2020 cricket. Today we're here with Warwickshire's Neil Carter for a pace bowling masterclass. Hope you enjoy the videos and get some useful information out. When 2020 started and a few years ago, if you had a slow ball, that was good. Now, having one slow ball is okay. I think uh, a lot of uh, a lot of batsmen these days, if they know your slow ball, they know what's coming, then they can, uh, they can see it. So they, a lot of guys now have more than one slow ball. I know a couple of guys have three or four slow balls, which uh, I think is key. So we're going to go through a, a few slow ball options, not just one or two. And because um, with that, I think you guys can take it away and practice. And like you've been doing, you can just stand here and we will start doing that. You can just stand there and just start practicing. So like every time you're at home, you've got a wall, you've got a ball, you can just stand and get your wrist in the positions and we can bowl all different kinds of balls. So that by the time you can practice that, by the time you can get into a net and you can hone your skills and get the ball to land in the right area. Because if you can lock up and bowl three slow balls at different times, at different in 20-20 games, then like I said, it's variation and batsmen won't know what's coming. Exactly the same, instead of bowling straight with your wrists straight, facing forward, it's pretty much the exact opposite. So your wrist is facing right, right behind, okay. The ball's right behind your wrist. Your wrist face forward and not, uh, and not backwards. So it's very difficult to get to, to perfect this. A lot of you guys, will, a lot of you will get there and you'll see that you can't quite get there. You'll end up bowling like a leg spinner, which isn't too bad. But if you can get it right behind, it's very difficult for the batsman to see. Because the ball comes out exactly straight, the swing comes out perfectly like a wooden when it's coming down, say pace-wise, slower than what your normal ball would be. So obviously your wrist is ahead of the ball. So when your wrist comes out full tilt, the ball's going to be obviously very loose in the opposite direction. So it literally moves and dips and goes a lot slower than, uh, than your normal ball. So this one takes a lot of practice. And you either, some of you probably either have it or you won't, but if you can master all of that, it's a very good slow ball to have, as well as the other ones. So instead of, if we come down here, instead of going pretty much straight down again, <coughs> we come here and we start, we start turning our hand here, so turning our wrist here. So instead of bringing it back like that, we just bring it back dead straight, and we try and just get it out. Your fingers, you know, fingers facing straight down and get straight towards the keeper. So we're coming here and then we pretty much straight down there. I mean, even I don't get my wrist exactly, my arm and my wrist. That's a question of being able to get there, keeping this having quite a supple arm and shoulder. You have to twist your arm so that you face forward, but your arm is actually how you would have it when you face backwards. So it's literally getting here. And getting high up, high up. And coming out straight. It's quite a hard, it's very hard to master it. I mean, this is going to take, this is going to take years of practice, not just hours and days and weeks. So it's there and pretty much getting right out the back. And that, in a full, running full pace, and you do that in full of action, exactly the same pace-wise in action, it pulls the back to 